What is going on guys, Scooby Dude here on the Fort Misery Gaming Channel to bring you another video of Nardo Shepard and Ultimate Ninja Blazing. Hope everyone has had an amazing day right before Christmas Eve, getting all that last minute shopping done, school exams, whatever you got going on before tomorrow. And today guys, we are going to be showing you how to defeat S-Rank Jiraiya Raid on on S rank using wisdom only that's right wisdom only I don't think it's still I still don't think it's possible to do 28 unless you have like a 28 cost Kakashi and Sakura and other a couple other units they're just really hard to get those those costs down that much especially since the newer units you can't really even uh, get those guys down like Minato and Naruto things like that but we have wisdom only for you guys today you get three pearls for three pearls for completing that objective so really really cool and today, um, my team, there's two hard to obtain units, but outside of that, a lot of easy free to play stuff or semi free to play stuff. So, we're going to be taking the new Naruto. He is a beast in this event, guys. He is a fantastic unit. He actually does about a fifth of Gimabunta's health on his secret, and he almost can one shot Jiraiya, believe it or not. Yes, so close. If you use him and even like a Jutsu from Sakura or even like a Water Dragon from Zabusa, you're going to clean him up. So we'll go over our guys. Uh, Kabuto, not much to explain there. He's Wisdom's only um, active healer. So outside of field skill. So that's why he's in there. He is max limit broken and max ability acquired since he's at 50 lock. Zabusa, uh, he's just an amazing unit. He's limit broken halfway. I really, really wish I had enough time to get him all the way up to 50 but haven't made, or 150, but I haven't been able to have enough time to do that yet. Um, he doesn't have any abilities in Woken, unfortunately. So, but his uh, Secret Jutsu and his Water Dragon are gonna be huge, huge assets. It's a strong hitter mid-range unit, so he's awesome. Uh, the new Naruto, <laughs> there's not much to say. This guy is a beast. He he makes Rock Lee, he puts Rock Lee to shame. He is just awesome to keep in your back row, bring him out when you need to, to, to fuck something up, and he will do that for you guys. Uh, Sakura is an amazing utility unit. She's a long range unit. Both of her stats have over a thousand. She's halfway limit broken as well. And I have her abilities maxed out, so she's going to restore two chakra every time she moves through the map. So you can use her AoE jutsus really frequently. And she's got a few, uh, the highest field skill heal in the game. So really, really awesome unit to combine with Kabuto, because I actually only have one Kabuto. So I'm actually able to use them for the stall tactic. So then we obviously we're covered in Naruto. And then Minato. He is a secret weapon. I don't know if you guys have realized this, but his field skill and his buddy skill is going to reduce bravery damage by 15%. So he's really, really handy. And he's long range. He has decent stats for a 5 star. Has a almost 1200 health. Um, almost 1k, 1k, or I'm sorry, almost 1k health. And he has almost 1200 strength. So really awesome unit. His, uh, his Jutsu, I believe, only costs 4 single target. It's like not very strong. It's only like 2.5, something like that damage. But... He's really there for his field skill utility and his range. So, awesome unit. He's going to be on the field the majority of the time. So, let's get into it though, guys. Um, and I actually just beat this, but I forgot to hit my record button on my software. So, we got to do it one more time. Otherwise, I would just be farming it right now. But, it is what it is. <laughs> so, if you guys have any other uh, combinations, I, I saw another YouTuber use a ton of different combination for for this objective, so definitely post those in the comment section below, interested to see what mix-up you guys have. So, and I don't care using Sakura's Jutsu early to get down to one one dude there, simply because uh, she's going to get that chakra back so fast when she moves through the map, so. so we already got all our health back, and now we're onto this. So, we'll go ahead and use uh, Minato up here to to take this guy probably down to about half health or so. Yep, so that's really nice there. And then we can target, I believe we can target all three. Yep, with Zabusa. So Zabusa is gonna bring in the damage there. And then Sakura should be able to finish that up there with Zabusa. So there we go. Now we're on this already the second floor super, super fast. <clears throat> all right, so we'll go ahead and we'll leave. Bring him as close as, all right. Oh, uh, no, we can't get to Zabasa. I just wanted to give Zabasa that field protection, but I couldn't reach him, unfortunately. Alright, so we want to take out these guys up here. Keep in mind, guys, the bottom left, you want to leave alive if possible. Because if he dies, then the next wave is going to come at you. So, we're going to take these guys out here, 
and then we're going to stall up, restore a chakra, and heal up, all that good stuff. So we leave Nardo here as the active. Um, X actually works out that Nardo doesn't have a counterattack mechanic, um, simply because we are able to stall with these guys up here, regenerating all that health, and Nardo is actually going to get a 15% damage reduction thanks to Minato. So, thanks to his dad. So, that's why I think that Minato was an awesome unit. I was really cool surprised that we got him for free despite us not being um, Korean um, Korean players. That was their gift, but it's, it's a fantastic unit. So, yeah, the only hard units to obtain, obviously, Minato is completely free. Soccer you can buy in the shop. Um, Kabuto is a pretty easy... He's been in the game since the game came out. He's only a four-star, so most players have him. And then, uh, so the only hard cards to pull is Zabasa, and of course the new Naruto. So Naruto is probably the hardest one because Zabasa has been in the game almost since it came out. It was like the, I believe, the third banner. Um, but I actually didn't get him until probably about a month ago. Um, he just eluded me for the longest time. So all right, we are ready to take this guy out. So we'll go ahead and smack there, Zabasa. Sakura will finish him off there, and we got our next wave coming in right here. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead. And We'll target all these guys here with Minato's long range ability. And then Zabasa. Zabasa can go ahead and use his Jutsu here. Just to take those guys out for sure. It would have been close because it uh, would have been close if we would have taken all those guys out. So I hope that's the right one I'm targeting. It was. Alright, cool deal. Cool deal. So we'll go ahead and stall up a little bit more. Heal back up to full. You guys know the deal with these raids. Unfortunately, that's just the tactic you always have to do. Which kind of sucks for the viewers on YouTube. Because you guys have to sit here and watch this. But uh, it's what you got to do if you want to use no pearls. So we got just a couple more turns to get Zabasa back up. I think Dry comes close soon after this next wave. So alright, Narda can take that guy out. Oh, not yet, apparently. Now we will. Alright, so three there. We'll go ahead and use Sakura's AoE to do a big chunk here to these dudes. And then we'll actually switch to Minato, because I think the three the two of them can take those guys out. There we go. Fantastic. And now we're left with just one guy here. We can take him out. And see already, so see, see that's awesome. So now we can, we're not going to touch the guy there, obviously, because we were going to, so we're going to focus on Jiraiya, and watch how much this is going to do to Jiraiya, it is crazy. You see that? He almost took him out in one hit, it is insane. So we're going to go ahead and use Nardo's other secret, just to ensure that we take out Jiraiya so he does not super us. So, taken out, and now we just do our stall again, so we're going to switch back up to Kabuto. Um, I don't know which one is which, so I'm just going to go up there. Alright, so that's the right one. So bring Sakura in, heal up there, and then we're going to drag Nardo down here. Hopefully the guy will follow him. And then we just got to stall up a little bit to keep, bring our Nardos up to full chakra, and then we'll be on to Mr. Gambutu himself. So, it was cool my audio didn't cut out this time too. Last time, for some reason, the Nardo audio, background music, and the game cut out which leaves like a lot of dead air <laughs> and it cut out super early it was like the first stage of the level so it was like really awful that we couldn't uh that it was just me talking there's like no no background music i don't like uh i don't like watching videos where it's just the person talking unless you're insanely entertaining there are some people that can do that but uh generally it's better to better to have some background music it makes the video flow better in general so all right we still gotta do a little bit more of this our nardo still need three more chakra so we definitely don't want to go into this fight because um, we want to super these guys immediately um, so then we can bring our healers up front and uh, start start the stalling so it is really close on this mission i will tell you that uh, game Buta is actually the hardest part um, whereas kind of in retrospect last raid it was more the, the mobs were harder so all right we were at full so we can take this dude out and let's get at the toad let's get at the toad all right, so first off, we'll actually leave Kabuto out, and we're obviously not attacking with Zabasa because we haven't taken damage yet. So we'll leave Kabuto out just to give us that health back. See, look at that. It's like almost a fourth of health. That's crazy how much damage he does to this dude. See, already he's at half health. 
That's just awesome. Doing that, like I said, just to keep it full, so when he does attack us, um, and now we'll be even in a better situation, because now we can use Sakura. Sakura's ability, now, it's awesome they change her ability, she gets an attack weakened there, and she also has a chance for slip damage. Didn't get the slip damage, but that's okay. So, now we'll, we'll use Minato's Jutsu, it's gonna bring him down a little bit more. He, like I said, he doesn't do too much damage, he's in there for his field skills. Field skills really useful in this fight. So, now we can use Zabuso's ability. It's gonna do a lot of damage, and it's gonna heal us up. So, plus with the field heals, that's gonna bring us almost to full there. So, we're gonna keep Sakura up here to keep the healing going. Alright, so then is gonna use an attack here. And... I believe Zabusa and the rest of my dudes can take him out here. This actually was way easier this time. That was cool. We didn't even, I don't even think we went below like 5k health there. So there you go, guys. Pretty pretty easy if you have that kind of setup. Um, wasn't really much of a close call. And I ranked up, so I can do some more farming. So awesome. Sweet, 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 you guys. So that's going to be the video, guys. That's how you guys can win this objective. And we got a drop. And we get a pearl. How about that? We still got a pearl for clearing. Even though we didn't get, even though we kind of didn't want to. And I'll add you, buddy. There you go. All right, guys. So, hope this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully, you guys have some units. Obviously, um, and I do have Shikaku. Many of you guys have seen that in my video. The pure reason why I had to use Minato over him is because of team cost. Because my Zabusa and my Naruto have no dupes. So, the Zabusa cost 55 and Naruto cost 60. So I didn't have enough team cost to use my Shikaku, even though he's down quite a bit in team cost. So maybe if I rank up a little bit more, I'll be able to use them next time on a Mono Wisdom team. That'll be a pretty sick Mono Wisdom team. But yeah, that's why I couldn't use them. Um, I know Ace Kage Motes, he used kind of a different setup. Uh, but I will say in that run, I did really, really well in comparison. So, But his videos are awesome too. He's, he, I actually learned a lot from him too as well. So he's a great, a great YouTuber. So check him out as well, guys. So please leave your comments. Like the video if you guys are if you guys like this video. It helped you out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. That's why we do giveaways for you guys. We just want to keep giving back to the community. So hopefully next week, um, I know for sure we're going to be announcing a giveaway tomorrow for Dokkan Battle. So we will be giving away a Kaoken Blue and Champa account, brand new, untouched. So, if you guys are Dogon players and you guys want Mr. Blue, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that video tomorrow that will be dropping for all the details on that. But until then, guys, this is Scooby-Doo signing off from Fort Misery Gaming. Have a great day, guys, and Merry Christmas.